in this video we will be writing the dimensions of and in fact we will be saying that the dimensions of angular velocity frequency angular frequency and velocity gradient are all having the same dimensions one is i'll start from frequency you know what is frequency so frequency is one by time period so time period is the time taken to produce one single wave or one oscillation or something so the dimensions of frequency is 1 by dimensions of time period so time period is a measure of time so it is 1 by t which is t power minus 1 so the dimensions of frequency is t power minus 1 let me come to angular velocity through that we'll see what angular frequency is what is angular velocity suppose there is a circular track and a particle moves along a circular track see like we define velocity is displacement by time angular velocity is angular displacement by time i'll use a different color angular velocity which is referred by the letter omega is angular displacement angular displacement by time taken so what is angular displacement i'm going to say that angular displacement does not have dimension i'll say how it is suppose a particle goes from this point to this point along the circular track and the radius of the circular track is this okay so the particle moves from a to b the angular displacement when the particle moves from a to b is the length of the path traveled let us say l and the radius of the circular track that is called theta so the angular displacement which is often referred by theta by time taken angular displacement by time but angular displacement is length of the path by radius of the track by time taken so the dimensions of omega is you know that a length by radius radius is also a measure of length so length by length so theta does not have dimensions and only the time has dimensions so omega the angular velocity is 1 by dimensions of time dimensions of time is t so 1 by t is t power minus 1 so frequency and angular velocity they both have same dimensions but they are different so frequency is the number of waves produced or number of oscillations in one second whereas angular velocity is rate of change of angular displacement or the total angular displacement by time now let us come to angular frequency which will become very easy by defining that through angular velocity so angular velocity omega is defined as angular displacement by time taken suppose when i say instead of time taken this time is time period let us say time period so time period is time taken to produce or to move around the circle once when it moves around once when it moves around once the time taken is time period and for one full round the angle covered is 2 pi radians because angle theta is arc length by radius for one full round the length of this track is 2 pi r and the radius is r so 2 pi r by r which is 2 pi when the time taken is equal to time period angular displacement is equal to 2 pi so 2 pi by time period 1 by time period is frequency we know that 1 by time period is frequency so omega in a way we are going to call it angular frequency or we are going to call it angular frequency is 2 pi into 1 by time period 1 by time period is frequency 2 pi times frequency is called angular frequency 2 pi is a number it is in radians so it does not have dimensions and only frequency has dimensions which is t power minus 1 so the dimensions of angular frequency is 2 pi into dimensions of frequency which is also t power minus 1 so three things angular velocity frequency angular frequency all are having the same dimensions the fourth one in our list is velocity gradient what is velocity gradient velocity gradient velocity gradient will 
velocity gradient actually gradient means with respect to distance velocity gradient means change in velocity with respect to distance suppose change in velocity the dimensions of velocity is l t power minus 1 and distance is l so these two will be cancelled so it is also t power minus 1 velocity gradient means change in velocity with respect to distance or in other words we can say that change in velocity per unit distance it can also be written as change in velocity per unit distance is called velocity gradient now know that frequency angular frequency angular velocity velocity gradient all four are having the same dimensions which is equal to t power minus one